there was a, if you've seen the docu-series, Not So Pretty, uh, it's about the uh, beauty industry and all the things they oh. put in there that are impacting us. And one of them was on just fragrances and everyday products that contain PFAS and other chemicals and listed as a fragrance and don't have to actually say what's in it. The F word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and yes, one of the, the people on the show, they were trying to conceive and it was actually the, the male had no sperm motility, no nothing. And it was kind of attributed to this where he cut out all the dove shampoos and everything fragrance he was using. And so much over time, they were able to conceive. That's what are, fascinating because yeah. men, men use a fraction of what women use. But they're using more and more Axe body spray. We're told almost to use more fragrance things and smell a certain way. And even, you know. The so aluminum true. that we're using in it and all our antiperspirants, is all these things. But I want to ask you, what are the main culprits when you're looking at those cord samples out of those 185 or so? Or are there a few that are more pronounced? Well, I would say the plastics, the fragrances yeah. and the phthalates. So plastics yeah. are, you know, like if you if you look around, if you've been on a beach recently, there's so much plastic on the beach because Everywhere. there's so much plastic in the ocean. So, you know, the plastic is how we consume our food. It's how we store our food. It's how we do everything. And so if people can really take a good look at plastic exposure and minimize that, that's going to be super helpful, not only for us, but for the planet. And the planet mm -hmm. is like, whatever's in the planet is in us. So, um, you know, the plastic is an enormous problem. And, um, you know, uh, I spend a lot of time in Costa Rica and on the beach, there's these little suckers, the sucker sticks that are plastic. Those are never going to biodegrade. Like mm -hmm. don't, can't somebody just enforce that you use paper. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? So there's there's some regulatory issues. Um, fragrance is a really big one. Um, Chanel, the company, when they were trying to keep their scent proprietary, they passed, they got legislation passed that allowed them to use fragrance to contain up to 300 chemicals. And so anything that has fragrance in it is a um, is working against you with reproductive health because it mimics hormones. So they're endocrine disrupting hormones. It mimics the way estrogen sits on your cell surface and it can actually exacerbate all kinds of menstrual issues, including fertility is just, just one of many. So plastics, fragrance, and then phthalates are also softer plas plastics and things that are in um, um, like pipes. Yep. Um, PVCs. So there's there's chemicals everywhere, and we have control over a lot of it. Actually, um, we don't have control over some things that are in the environment, things that we're breathing. But the things that we bring into our house, the things that we consume, are, is completely within our um, control. And, and the gentleman, the example that you just used, of the gentleman who just stopped using certain products and he was able to conceive. That's pretty mm -hmm. remarkable. Yeah. No, I think that's why it made the show. Right? They're looking for those. Remarkable cases, but I do believe that all of us, if we were able to detox properly, mm -hmm. uh, we put ourselves in a better chance of not just being healthier, but also conceiving child.